Hey pilots, Quad Smack here. Today I'm going to share with you some of the updates that are available in the latest firmware for the Toolkit RC Q6AC version 1.03. They added a reminder when charging without connecting to the balance port. They added a reminder box before starting the power mode output. And each channel now independently remembers the last battery setting item. I will also include instructions at the end on how to do this update on both Windows and Mac. Before this update, there was no warning for a missing balance connector. As you can see, even without a balance connector plugged in, charging starts as normal. This update added a warning when you are missing the balance connector. As you can see, there is now a warning when the balance is not connected. Before this update, there was no confirmation dialog when you used power supply mode. As you'll see, when you press start, the power supply mode begins. This update adds a confirmation dialog for the power supply mode. Press start and just like charging, you have a confirmation dialog. Prior to this update, all channels shared a last selection memory. Changing the settings on one channel would change the defaults for all channels. As you can see, I changed the settings on this channel and all the other channels match. If I change it again on a different channel, you'll see it will change my original channel default to match. With this update, each channel has its own last setting memory. Changing one channel does not change the memory of other channels. You can see as I work through the channels and change their settings, each has its own memory. Now I'll walk you through the steps to apply this update to your Q6AC on both Windows and Mac OS. Windows first. First go to www.toolkitrc.com forward slash Q6AC and go to the download section at the bottom of the page. Download the zip file. You will need to enter a security code to prove you're a human. Once the file is downloaded, open that location. Right click on the file and extract all. This will extract the contents of the update. Now simply connect a USB cable from your computer to the USB A port on the Q6AC. You'll see the toolkit drive appear on your Windows machine. You'll simply need to copy the app.upga file onto that drive. And then eject the drive. When you restart your Q6AC, you should see we are now at version 1.03. Now the process on a Mac. Go to the same page, toolkitrc.com forward slash Q6AC. Go to the download section at the bottom of the page. Again, we will have to add the security code to prove we're human. Open the download location. Right click on the file and open which will extract out the contents. Now simply connect a USB cable from your computer to the USB 
A port on the Q6AC. And you will see the toolkit drive appear on your Mac. Simply drag the app.upga file into that toolkit drive. And eject the drive. Start your Q6AC and you should see the updated version. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please subscribe. I'll bring more tips and demonstrations in the future.